Hey, I've got a review for you. Can you tell the mold? I'm pretty sure from what I was told by my buddy, Tyler, these are Emperors from Infinite Discs. This one, yeah, this one says Emperor on the bottom. Uh, look at this, EO Emperor. Tyler hooked me up, he let me borrow these four of them so different plastics so this is like the halo uh some sort of swirly star uh i don't know star i guess there's one of them might be supposed to be g star i don't know but uh we're gonna test them out and see how they fly i'll put the flight numbers right here but i think an emperor is supposed to be something like a destroyer-esque so i'm assuming like a 12 like four or twelve five zero three or something i don't know or zero two we'll, we'll see i'll put the numbers there so don't trust me just read the numbers we're gonna give them some throws all right so here comes the first throws with the emperors we've got four of them i'm gonna start with kind of a low medium power hyzer with this yellow one and then just work from there That must have just dug right into the ground. That's got stability to it. Yep, I can feel it. Well, now that we know that, let's go flat with the kind of similar power. Ooh. That was flying nice. It was kind of hyzering the whole way, but it went straight just for a little bit and then started to hyzer out. It was definitely getting more distance. So, I think we'll go this swirly one next. These are both 173, and then I'll go this domier halo -y. And maybe I'll throw this one flatter and maybe a little bit harder. decent decent and now we'll go this one pop top on Anheuser and see how it flies oh that's nice going that basket holy cow that almost went into that basket that was a really nice flyer um had some a decent movement to the right. Handled the power Anheuser release for me. A true S flight on that shot. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw some spike hyzers around this tree and just see how it flies on that spike hyzer release. I think they're gonna do pretty good for it. much in the basket a whole two. Do the same thing with this purple and blue one now, blue purple. But extremely similar. Those are fine pretty good. For the spike hyzers. Oh hey, it's me. From the future. So what I had to say is, Throw More Disc Golf Store has heard the call. That's right. They have decided to start giving me some codes for you all to use. This code, if you go to throwmore.com and use code DDDG Infinite, you'll get 10% off at checkout on an infinite disc. Like this czar here. So yeah, go use my code. Say thanks. They're pretty sweet. They're cool people. 
But yeah, this code will last for a limited time, usually around a week. And it'll be kind of based off what I'm reviewing. So, don't wait. Go use it now. Because your time starts now. Here's the dates. Now we're going to go this a little bit domier, Garrett Girthy one. Look at it. Still just got just as far. It might even went a little bit further. It's just further right of the basket. Then last we'll go this Oakley Halo one. Whatever they call it there. That one went the furthest on that hyzer. Those all acted really similar in flight and stability on that hyzer release for me. The domey one was still holding that hyzer the whole way, but it did just push a little bit further, it looked like. I think it went past the basket some. If you're looking for an overstable distance driver, this is not bad. I think this is a pretty good one. All those plastics seem to be fairly consistent in flight. So we'll test them a little bit more and then we'll call it a day. All right, so last throws. Flick, flick it up. Last few throws, I'm gonna do some forehands. Thank goodness I didn't throw that good and hard. Well, I got one good forehand. So there you have it. That is my review of the Emperor from Infinite Discs. This is a very solid distance driver. It is overstable, at least for my arm speed. It's pretty overstable, so this could be a pretty good uh, headwind fighter. Uh, maybe a forehand disc if you like domier discs in hand for forehand, but in general it is pretty stable. Obviously, uh, that's one reason probably why Girthy has uh, a stamped one. So, if you're looking for an overstable headwind fighting driver, this could be it. It's pretty pretty similar to like a destroyer-esque kind of fly, maybe a tad bit more stable, but it's been a while since I threw destroyers, but solid disc. Not too bad feeling in the hand. If you're looking for that overstable uh, distance driver, give it a try, but um, it's not necessarily for the low arm speeds or uh, beginner players, unless you're just looking for a utility driver. But um, it's not like it's too crazy overstable, it's just you're not gonna get max distance out of these. So uh, it's a good disc, but it's gonna have its spot. That's all we got. Till next time. Peace.